Ida, and I'm delighted to be speaking with you again. And as I've said already, maybe you haven't seen the other three short video clips in this series of top tips. Just one of the most powerful things you can ever do for yourself in your life to deconstruct that negative inner dialogue. So there'll be links on the screen to those first three. I'll quickly recap before we move on with this fourth top tip, because I know you're really busy. So what you were doing on that first exercise was dropping your eyes out of focus so you could create a space in your mind, which is often just last seconds, where in your own control, you start to bring up some of those negative inner dialogues that you're perhaps familiar with, the I'm not good enough, I'm going to fail, to the they won't like me, I'm not going to be bothered to do this, to the I'm scared, and so on. And as I said before, I'll quickly repeat that the affirmations, the positive thinking, certain types of meditation, relaxation, deep breathing, going out and doing a workout, they do not deconstruct these dialogues. And maybe you'll realize that in a few minutes when we get on to the fourth top tip. Those kind of strategies just paper over those negative dialogues. They're still there. They'll show up through where you've papered over them. So it takes time, a few minutes a day. I can't emphasize how much this is worth it. Hey, doesn't it take time to clean up and polish your kitchen thoroughly? And then you sit back and go, yeah, that's great. And then a few days later, kitchen needs polishing again. But with these strategies, they're deconstructed. They're over. They don't come up again, no matter what the experience or situation is in your life. You have very self-affirming inner dialogues eventually to replace those old ones, which stop you successfully achieving your goal. And some of those inner dialogues, they're unconscious. We don't even hear them. What we do is feel the results of that inner dialogue in our body, like the tightening in the throat or a heaviness in the chest or churning in the stomach. So on the third top tip, where you were, was starting to differentiate. You've list, then went on to list the dialogues, you're bringing them up, you're taking more control. Once we've heard them, that's when we can do something about them. So you were making notes and you were differentiating on that third top tip into where have those dialogues come from. You may have had to chew your pen for a while to really consider. They came from two places. They came from the big people in our life. When we're kids, when we're teenagers, maybe even when we're at college. Or they came from our self. So with the list that you have that came as messages from other people, then you can choose your own visualization metaphors and you can just send them back. They probably were not ill intentioned from those big people. Maybe some of them were, some of them were just nasty but they impacted and carried on playing in your mind, maybe for years. And those that you've differentiated out that have come from yourself, you need to just look at those for a while before my fifth top tip comes out. Just a few moments because some of those negative inner dialogues that came from yourself were in an attempt in those experiences in your life to keep you safe. That's the headline. They were an attempt to keep you safe. 
A simple example is when the big people were intimating or literally telling you to, let's say, be quiet, don't speak up, that the inner dialogue becomes, I mustn't speak. So we become, in many situations in life, shy, withdrawn. Just take a few moments in the coming week, or you may want to take longer than a week, to make a note of which of the dialogues that come from yourself were in an attempt to keep you safe. Because those we need to then, in the fifth top tip, just give some respectful attention to that part of yourself, to honour that part of yourself that was actually, and I'm repeating myself, but it's important, trying to keep you safe. Enjoy, make it a fun journey. Hey, if you were cleaning the kitchen, you could make that a fun experience. So enjoy it. I will continue to repeat, this is the one of the most powerful things that you can do. It will last you the rest of your life. Thank you so much for listening. Get going with your list of those negative inner dialogues that originally came from you. So, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.